Hi there, it's Brian from iSpring, and today I'm going to share five useful tips that'll help you integrate learning paths into your learning program and take it to the next level. The first thing we're going to do is go over here to the Learning Paths section, and then go ahead and add a new learning path. I'll give it a title, and now we're ready to go. Now let's swing over here to the Settings tab, which brings us to tip number one. You've got to understand what types of users are going to be taking this learning path. Some people need a structured course which takes them step by step through a set of materials, and others prefer to take charge of their own learning process. For those latter folks, you can make the chapter order optional so they can hop around and complete the material in whatever order they want. Or you can make it sequential so you can lead them step by step through the learning path. Another thing that's handy for self-motivated learners is the course catalog. You can go to the settings of other content in your LMS and add them to the catalog so your learners can peruse the material whenever they want. Now let's go back up and talk about tip number two. Set a pace of learning. If this is just recommended material, you don't have to set a due date, but if you need to, you can set a due date for the whole learning path or for each chapter. You can use this technique to keep all your learners up to date and on the same page. Alrighty, now let's go back up here to the Outline tab, and now we're on tip number three. Experiment with different learning styles. I'm going to add two different chapters here. One for my auditory learners, and one for my visual learners. Now I'm going to populate them with content. This is just an example, but you get the idea. You can create separate chapters, or even separate learning paths covering the same material but in a different format to match the learning styles of your users. With iSpring Learn, you can even upload PDFs, Word, and PowerPoint documents for people who prefer to read. Now I'm going to add one more chapter and talk about tip number four. Check progress and share immediate feedback. A good way to check in with your learners is to add a little quiz or graded dialogue and see their results. Another handy thing is an assignment. Let me just add these, and now I'll swing up here and view this learning path as a user so I can scroll down here and enter an answer for this assignment. Now back here on the dashboard, you can see assignments that are ready for evaluation right up here. You can enter the grade here, and even leave a comment for the user. Alrighty, now let's go over here to the reports section and tip number five, reports. iSpring Learn offers a ton of reports to show you exactly how everybody's doing in the LMS. First, I'm going to show you the Learning Path Summary Report, which is specifically designed for learning paths. You can select one or more learning paths right here and pick an organization and group. I'm going to exclude those who weren't assigned the learning path and run the report below. OK, ready to check. Down here you can see how everybody's doing on this learning path, how far along they are, and how long they spent on it. Now I'm going to go up here to this menu and show you a user activity report. I'm just going to pick my own name out of this list and select a wide date range, then run the report. Here's a breakdown of all the stuff I've done with all my progress laid out in detail. And that about covers it. If you combine all these tips, you can really use individual learning paths to the greatest advantage. Let's recap. Understand your users, set a pace of learning, experiment with different learning styles, check progress and share feedback, and run reports to see how everybody's doing. Thanks for watching. Now you're ready to get the most out of your learning pass with iSpring Learn. Did you like this video? Give it a like and subscribe to the iSpring YouTube channel for more updates.